Gopgrimmers and Maydoss Touch released a mega mix of GOP sexual misconduct today. It has acquired at the time of the article 3 million views in 24 hours. Let's watch. Former Ohio State wrestlers accusing Republican Congressman Jim Jordan of knowing about a team doctor's alleged sexual misconduct. 43 men who say they were sexually assaulted, abused, molested, or harassed by Dr. Richard Strauss. The former employee at the Republican National Committee was just sentenced to 12 years in prison for possession of child porn. He also told people in this group that his preference was for babies and saying that they were his, quote, absolute favorite and uh, solicited another member of the group for videos of babies being raped. George Nader, his criminal history included multiple convictions for child pornography and child molestation. This morning, a judge sentenced Ralph Shorty to 15 years in prison. Police caught Shorty in a hotel room with a then 17-year-old boy. The new charges against Joel Greenberg. Sex trafficking of a minor and stalking a political opponent. Order Republican Congressman Matt Gates allegedly having a sexual relationship with a 17-year-old girl. Investigators examining whether he, quote, violated federal sex trafficking laws. To all of a sudden act like this phenomenon of girls getting pregnant at, that, at, a, at a young age that we consider young, 16 or 17, Baby to, act, to act like it's a new thing is ridiculous. Girls between the ages of like 17 and 24 is when they're technically most fertile. Ianopoulos arguing sexual relationships between 13-year-old boys and men in their 20s could be consensual. Some of those relationships between younger boys and older men, the sort of coming of age relationships, the relationships in which those older men ha help those young boys to discover who they are. Back in 2004, uh, Lauren Boebert's husband, Jason Boebert, was arrested for indecent exposure uh, because he decided to reveal his penis to waitresses. Turned out one of the waitresses was 17. 33 year old reality TV star Josh Duggar is in serious trouble charged with receiving and possessing child pornography. Duggar was taken into federal custody, accused of downloading child sexual abuse material online, showing children under the age of 12. Three women accused a Tennessee state representative of abusing them when they were teenagers and he was their high school basketball coach. Not only did the Republicans stay in office, he was reelected and he was just named chairman of a key state house education subcommittee. State representatives in Tennessee have been working on a bill that's obviously a Republican dominated legislature. The House version of the bill as it was introduced didn't include an age minimum. Yeah, it, it, it means it could pave the way to legalize child marriage, like child brides. Congressman Rose's engagement announcement. No, that is not his daughter. They reportedly met while she was in high school. He was about 42. Tucker's talking about the former cult leader Warren Jeffs who was convicted of sexually assaulting minors. Well, well actually, wait. he's not in prison for that. He didn't, Warren Jeff didn't marry underage girls. No, he, he's, in, he's in prison for facilitation of child rape. Whatever the hell that means, the rapist in this case has made a lifelong commitment to live and take care of the person. So I, it is a little different. A man running for a college district's governing board, arrested for masturbating on a campus, a Maricopa County College police officer found Randy Kaufman with his pants down, masturbating in his truck, at 4.30 in the afternoon in the Rio Salado College campus. The parking lot just feet away from a preschool and child care center where kids were outside playing. A former Trump official who has pled guilty to child porn charges. He is a former Commerce Department official in the Trump administration sentenced to a five and a half year prison term after pleading guilty to possession of child pornography. This is Adam Hageman. Tony Lazaro allegedly gave underage girls expensive gifts and money in exchange for sex. He is charged with sex trafficking. A former Florida Elections Commission attorney pleaded guilty today to conspiring to distribute, receive, and possess child pornography. Prosecutors say Eric Matthew Lipman shared the videos on a file hosting site. He faces up to 20 years. The stunning political scandal that is rocking Capitol Hill. Republican Congressman Mark Foley abruptly resigned Friday after questionable emails he sent to a teenage boy. Dennis Pastor convicted of a financial crime, part of a scheme to mask something more egregious, his molestation of children. A former member of Governor Ivey's staff was arrested for child solidification charges. This is a 36-year-old Chase Tristan Espy. He was charged with electronic solidification of a child. Roy more defiant as more accusers step forward alleging sexual misconduct. This is the shopping mall where some say it was common knowledge and not a big secret that Roy Moore would flirt with teenage girls when he was in his 30s. One accuser says that Moore initiated a sexual encounter 
back in 1979 when she was just 14 years old. A jury found Ghislaine Maxwell guilty of five out of six federal charges, including sex trafficking of minors. I've met her numerous times over the years, especially since I lived in Palm Beach, and I guess they lived in Palm Beach, uh, but I wish her well.